I am absolutely mad right now. When I say I'm mad, I'm like mad, like really, really mad right now, dude. This is dude. I am absolutely fed up with Blocks Roots players just asking me, "Hey, can you help me to grind? Can you help me obtain this? Can you help me obtain that?" Listen, Blocks Roots is extremely easy when it comes to obtaining resources. And if you know me, I don't even PV. Look at my bounty, bro. This shit has not moved since level 1,500. It's been like that forever, bro. It's not that hard to get anything in blocks roots. It's really not. Like one of the many things I tell players in this game is that I just don't PvP. I don't want to PvP. It's because of the upcoming series I'm gonna actually learn how to PvP because I think it's mandatory really because blocks roots is about PvPing, okay? And I think me not PvPing is just you know like what is else is there really to do? I just came up with a series idea to actually just PvP for views and whatever. But anyways, that's not what we're really focusing on today, okay? Cause you guys know me. I've said this to everyone, including you who's watching. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. I don't like the PvP. Okay, I'm more of a resource collector. I like to collect resources. Let me show you all this shit, bro. Okay, I've done the Leviathan hunts. I've collected so many hearts. I've collected I, I just like collecting stuff. I don't really use them. I just collect them, bro. So today I'm gonna show y'all a grinding guide, what you can do all the way up to 13. I'm max level, I wanted to do this video before, but I think I scrapped the idea years ago because, what, what am I saying years ago? I think I scrapped the idea a while back because I wasn't max level and I wasn't even at 3rd as yet. So in order for me to make a video I'd like that, I'd probably have to be max level. <laughs> Alright, so to get started the video, I'm gonna say this. Fruits to grind with. You do not need to even grind with a fruit in, in Blocks Roots. Honestly, I don't think you actually need to. And considering the fact that you can stat reset when you reach 2nd C and 3rd C, you can literally stat reset with fragments. And it's not that hard to get people to get you some fragments. All you gotta do is just go in the official Blocks Roots chat and say, Yo, I'm looking for raids. Join a raid or get someone to help you and you get 2,500 fragments and you can stat reset. But when you're in first see here's what i recommend i don't care what youtuber wants to say this grind with melee okay melee only just grind with melee or sword it doesn't matter what sword it doesn't matter what melee it doesn't matter what it is okay nothing is better than nothing just grind with some okay i'm gonna tell you why right you know for a fact that you have to get full body hockey you shouldn't it shouldn't be a case where you get to you get to second c and you're still you still gotta freaking grind for full body hockey that shouldn't necessarily be happening by the time you reach second she you should already have full body hockey you should already have your instinct level to at least 1000 or something like that so i'd advise you to grind with melee or sword you could just grind with both of them actually so you can grind with both both melee and sword and by the time you reach second C, you will get full body hockey but anyways, for those who probably don't even care about that and you still want to use fruits to grind, here are the list of fruits that you, you can actually use to grind in block fruits. Number one, and pay attention, flame. Flame is the best fruit you can actually use to grind in block fruits along with ice. But I kind of disagree with the idea of using ice to grind. I'm going to tell you what, the skills for ice is just not that good for me. Okay, so in my opinion, it's not that good for grinding. I don't like it. I don't like the fruit at all. Okay, light light is just OP for grinding. It, it, it's just so spammable and easy for grinding. So yeah, I think light would be a good one. And uh, let me see what else. I've grinded with Quake, but I wouldn't recommend it, dude. Like, I think it's because I was stuck with Quake why I grind with it for so long. But I wouldn't grind with it, dude. And guys, please, if you obtain a beast fruit any beast food or any legendary mythical fruit do not eat it in first seed that's so stupid okay getting a fruit to level 350 in mastery or even 150 in mastery that's gonna take you forever you can even grind with control okay it took me so long to get it to this level mastery and i'm still at third c i'm just gonna just gonna actually get it to max mastery because i'm gonna need it for a video but otherwise those are the fruits that you can use to mass um grind all right, I don't even need to talk about for the first island, so we're just gonna move on. Let me switch to my Buddha. It'll be a lot more easier to move around. Um, hold up. <laughs> now, there's one thing I like to tell players is that um, when you're when you're grinding NPCs, it's actually good to group them. 
Okay, what's the next item? When you're grinding NPCs in block throughs, do not attack one NPC and move on to the other NPC. Don't do that. That's stupid, okay? What you should be doing is attacking one NPC. Okay, damn. I don't even have anything in sword. What you should be doing is attacking one NPC, move on to the next NPC, attack that NPC. And basically what you want to do is that you want to group them up group them all together like on this level you can basically group these guys up you can grab group at least three of them it's so bad i don't even have like something strong enough to actually group them up i'd be using this thing so like group a decent amount of them up and then you just attack all of them in one group. and that's basically it that's a good way to grind in blocks but the next way the next important tip this is probably the most important one of all of them I'm ignoring your ass. What's up? I don't know. I don't know what's up. I'm not mute. The next important factor in grinding in blocks. And while doing all of this, by the time you get to second C, you'll probably have like a bunch of common fruits in your inventory from spinning or some shit. Cause you get a lot of fruits and you get resources cause your main objective here is not to just roll fruits, PvP and shit like that. You're to grind and get to max level. For me in opinion, if I were to give a player advice, I'd say it's better to actually get to max level than you start bounty hunting or anything like that. Cause by then you won't have to actually have that gap where you know that you're not PvPing to your full potential cause you're not actually fully max level. Also, I never really realized this, blacksmith is in the first C, which means that you can literally upgrade your sword from first C, depending if the resources are actually here. For my dark blade, I can actually one-shot NPCs in this C because, well, I don't, I don't even know. I think it's because it's upgraded now, so damage output is a far, it's far more greater, right? But all right, so second C, you're at second C. Where do you grind? These guys, it's I think it's mandatory to actually grind these guys. It's not possible to actually skip them, so I'd say you have to grind these guys. It's not that difficult actually, especially if you obtain Buddha. If, cause if you obtain Buddha when you reach second C, that would be a W. That would be a huge W. Cause Buddha would be so more. It's a far more easier to grind with Buddha here. All right, we're here at third C. Here's an important factor that I like everybody to know about third C is the best location to actually grind at when you actually get to the recommended level is Haunted Castle. I'm gonna tell you all about Haunted Castle. Probably one of my most favorite islands. In the third C, besides Tiki Outpost, which I think Tiki Outpost hosts most of the in-game events that should happen, involving C events and almost I say almost almost every single C events has something to do with Tiki Outpost. Almost all of them, not necessarily, but most of them has something to do with Tiki Outpost. All right, Haunted Castle. Haunted Castle is probably one of the best locations to grind at before you reach max level. I wouldn't recommend grinding at Whole Cake. Or what is it called? Sweet Sea of Threats. If you want to grind at Sea of Threats, it's it's up to you, man. But in my opinion, I grind at Haunted Castle. I think I grinded here until I was max level. Cause these guys are just level 2000, 2025. 2025, and the guys over here they're level one thousand. What is that? 1975 so i actually recommend grinding here until you're max level i know it's a huge stretch it's a very very big stretch at that because level 2000 is pretty far from 500 like that's a far level gap but here's the benefits of it when you kill these npcs if i get lucky actually damn this guy's doing a lot of damage probably because i don't have hockey on there you go Okay, I didn't actually get, get what I wanted, but when you kill these NPCs, there's a certain item that you obtain that's very, very important to this guy. This item, which is the bones. Wait, I ain't got no bones. Oh, hold up. There you are. I have 335 bones right now. When you obtain bones in this island, you can actually trade it to this guy. You can roll. You can get roll. You can only roll 10 times every two hours and it costs around what you currently have 10 purchases it costs around 50 bones per roll 
and um there's a chance you can roll one of my favorite rolls in this game is actually two times xp and you get that thing for 10 minutes so imagine rolling two times xp back to back it's not that hard dude like i grinded here until i was max level it didn't take long i think it took me about like three days because i was on mobile so you know how annoying that is your battery dying and a bunch of other stuff i think i rolled hollow scythe like i rolled well i didn't roll hollow scythe i rolled the thing to actually get the hollow scythe and i got it back to back because it really it's not that hard man so grinding in blocks food is isn't that hard you just have to pick the right locations to grind at grind with the right equipment so if you're in third c or second c i think your objective should actually be getting buddha okay when you're in third c the most useful fruits here in third c have to be magma buddha i don't even to see if people actually use dough in C events like I've never actually seen that before maybe it's just not me but I've never actually seen people use dough in C events like before who does that but the most important fruits for third C that you must have as perms Buddha is most definitely one of them I wouldn't really say mag some people wouldn't really say getting per magma is worth it but for me I would say it would because getting magma over and over every single time you will need it is just going to be annoying and it's far more easier to do c events the only thing you will have to do though sadly is that you'll have to switch between your fruit you just have to switch between your stats every single time i right, know i have stats in i have stats in fruit which isn't really that good yeah i have stats in fruits i can't really use my sword and sword sword and melee is really that reliable for c events especially when you're fighting c beasts or any c events that you're grinding it's just going to be a lot harder because you can't really grind you can't really kill or get rid of ship events when they spawn in the sea so i do recommend getting perm magma i do recommend getting perm dough and then you can go ahead and get any fruit of your choice like a pvp fruit um a beast fruit anything that you want but i do recommend getting these fruits another fruit that i do recommend getting perm is portal which is something that i'm actually working on right now and it won't actually take me that long to get perm portal but that's it for the video man so if y'all were wondering how i got to max level what did i do if it was difficult for me hell yeah it was difficult but you just gotta do the right thing you gotta actually grind in the right location and grind with the right equipment that's very important so hey man make sure to subscribe like the video i'll edit this video as much as i can to get y'all to understand